go to Gloria. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? The Lord of the Rings is, well, was my big Star Wars event, much like it was for young teenagers and young kids in the 70s with Star Wars. Lord of the Rings was the big thing when I was a kid. I was 12 years old when the first film came out. And then in, the, in October of 20, 2002, the Lord of the Rings The Two Towers video game came out to obviously coincide with the movie. And my god in heaven, I fell in love with this game. The Lord of the Rings The Two Towers is a fantastic hack and slash video game. It has aged a lot, I do have to say that, but this is a game, and, and The Return of the King as well, I would love to see remastered, and The Third Age. Uh, there is a Fellowship of the Ring game which is not licensed by the film. That one is just more sort of uh, from the book. Uh, but it's that that's still a good game. Uh, however, but with this Two Towers game where you can play as Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, Gandalf, you can unlock a sealed door as well and then throw a sealed door off the nearest cliff. We all know why. Aragorn should have pushed him. <laughs> should have pushed him. Um, would have saved a lot of heartache. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, the game is just hack and slash, going, moving through the events of, uh, you go from the Mines of Moria, uh, from the Fellowship of the Ring, and then you get to all the way through the events of the Two Towers, uh, up until the Battle of Helm's Deep, and it's just kick-ass. So you can, up, as your characters fight, you level up and unlock new abilities and new attacks, and, uh, upgrade them with better stuff, and it's, it's just, it's just and, 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 and... That's a lot of ands. But this game also gives you a lot of special features and trailers and behind the scenes stuff of the films. Now, as this game was uh, published by EA, it developed by Stormfront Studios, but, but published by EA, it's actually very good considering it's got EA stamp on it. Now, this was coming from a time where EA wasn't actually the enemy of gaming. They were pretty good for the most part we're bringing out decent games it's only in recent memory that they are greedy scumbags but they piled a lot of content and replay replayability into this game and with return of the king as well and that has to be said but i always used to play as legolas as a kid because he was always my favorite you know he had the bow you could fire really fast and then he had his little two daggers that you could use to pull off some cool moves it does for the most part follow uh, their, their, their movements from the film, which was pretty cool. And you do get a little featurette where you can see uh, Elijah Wood playing as uh, Aragorn and giving Frodo sass, which is obviously uh, pretty awesome considering he was Frodo. Um, <laughs> the Return of the King game came out in 2003, and it's insane to think that the Lord of the Rings films only came out in such a short span of time. But for the... F for the early part of the 2000s, the merchandise for this game was everywhere. Uh, game? Film. The merchandise for the films were everywhere, including the video games. And we had loads of games of it, and there was a Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers on Game Boy Advance, which I had, which I want to make a video on as well. And I really enjoyed that one. That one was more Diablo-esque, which is pretty cool. Uh, but... This game was released on the GameCube, PlayStation 2, and Xbox. I originally played it on PlayStation 2. I played a demo of it, and uh, I borrowed a PlayStation 2 off of a friend for a night, uh, which I'm very grateful for, and managed to. Pl I played it all night. I stayed awake and I smashed the granny out of it. Uh, and then eventually, as when I got older, I, I went to Xbox and I picked it up on Xbox, and that was it then. I was an Xbox player all the way through the original Xbox era, uh, through 360, and then kind of gave that up in, on Xbox One and jumped to PC. Because, <laughs> um, as we all know, Xbox did drop the ball uh, in the Xbox One era. But if you have not played The Two Towers, you can get emulations of it incredibly easy. Choose whichever version of it you want. The PS2 and the GameCube versions are the easiest to emulate. Xbox original games can be a bit fiddly. But it's still a damn good game now. And still a game I would love to see remade. Uh, remade or remastered. Either one, I don't care. But bring it out. Let's go. More Lord of the Rings, please. I mean, we had the Rings of Power recently, which was not great. Had the potential and I really wanted to like it. But unfortunately, I can't stand it when studios... 
or uh, all these higher power people, they get a hold of these IPs and they just fudge with it. Don't fudge with it. Leave it as it is. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And you tried to fix it and you broke it. But this game just needs to be one-to-one -one remade or remastered and that's all the fans will ever need. So please get whoever has the license. I think it's just Amazon. But whoever has the licensing to make these games, do something with it please. But let me know in the comments if this is a game you have played or if this is a game you have ever heard of. And uh, thank you very much for watching.